Hi everyone, welcome to July Empties. I'm gonna start this time with supplements and I have a ton. I'm happy to say I have pretty much cured my under eyes, my allergies, my gut issues. I will try and do a separate video because there's just so much to go into of what worked, what didn't work, what it's for. I'll just try and give you the 100,000 foot level in this video. So first of all, noni. This is something that is a fruit that is very, very common in India. I like this noni, but what I like better is, and noni you'll see on this package is Mirinda citrifolia, and here is Mirinda citrifolia from AMG, and that's sometimes not available, so then I get the Mirinda Supreme. These are both really, really good quality. You take three a day, three times a day, and within a couple of days, you'll know if this is right for you in helping with any kind of gut bacteria overgrowth. For me, these are gold. They work so well when other things don't. And the tricky part about any kind of gut issues is what works for one person may not work for another. So you have to figure it out. It's just like how an antibiotic could work for you know one time with you and it wouldn't work the next. Same with supplements. They may or may not work for you and they could work one time and not the next. So right now, Mirinda has been gold for me and I only take it as needed, which now that I've got this under control, hopefully it'll be maybe two to four times a year. So the last thing regarding my gut before I get into other supplements is Chinese does This is another one I swear by love it and then whenever you're releasing toxins from your liver you need to take takasami to whisk it away it is a better quality of a bamboo charcoal and i'll list that below as well but this is some powerful stuff i only need to take it one time maybe twice at night and it really helps fix me up so now into other supplements i frequently get asked if i still take the pain Yes, I have a very alkaline gut. You can't absorb all your minerals without enough acid. So I not only do some apple cider vinegar in the morning, I do one of these betaine with every meal. If you're like my Mark, he doesn't need betaine. He has a healthy acidic gut. He doesn't even use apple cider vinegar. You will know if you take this, if you get too much acid, then you don't need it. For me, I could take buckets full and probably never have too much acid, but taking one with every meal right now is the perfect amount for me to have it so that my digestive enzymes can break the food down and get all the my minerals and vitamins out of it that it needs. This is part of my drink. I need to do a, maybe in a food vlog, I'll show you how I mix my morning drink. This is an electrolyte powder in the summer, especially in Arizona, where we're over 100 up here, pushing 120 down in the valley. If you exercise on top of it, you are going to lose your electrolytes, especially magnesium. You're going to get leg cramps at night and just have your muscles and everything not reacting as well. For me, in the summertime, I take this as part of my daily thing, and this is a same exact ingredients as Dr. Bird's electrolyte formula, and it's quite a bit cheaper. This lasts me quite a while. I really enjoy the flavor and the taste. I've mixed quite a few different things in my morning drink, and like I said, I'll have to do that in a flip food vlog. Monolaurin, absolutely still take this. Coconut, they've done studies. If you ever watched that 60 Minutes where the fellow with Alzheimer's couldn't dry a clock as well as, you know, a two-year-old probably could, and after I think it was a month of his wife giving him a ton of coconut, he was able to draw the cl clock properly. So it can not only stave off Alzheimer's, it has been proven to help reverse it. So we take it for that as well as the immune boosting properties. Love this, wouldn't want to be without it. We take one a day. If we feel like we're getting sick at all, my early warning system is my lymph glands or my sore ears, I'll take five or six of these three times a day, and then the next day I wake up and I'm perfectly fine. So, swear by Monolaurin. Vitamin K2 plus D3, this helps you absorb it. The K, vitamin K is, is an MK7, 
and it really helps you to be able to absorb the vitamin D. This is large quantities, but if you go get a vitamin D prescription from your doctor, they'll tell you to take it for three months. We take this over the winter. Now when we're outside more, we don't take it as much. I monitor our activity. If Mark is out in the yard gardening, I don't give him vitamin D. If I am sitting behind my computer all day and not getting outside, I take vitamin D. And also, in the Arizona sun, you're avoiding it and because the sun is like a bug under a microscope and it hurts almost. So then I will give us vitamin D, but don't take any supplement, in my opinion, daily. You have to know why you're taking it and if your body needs it. Speaking of vitamin D, this is a much lower amount. So this is a much lower amount of vitamin D. It's 1,000. I give us this every day if we're not taking this. This is 5,000. The other one that I take is actually, in the wintertime, is actually 10,000. So this is kind of like my summertime if we're not getting enough sun. This is if we're getting enough sun. And then I'll link my 10,000 one that's also with MK7. And those are what we use throughout the year, listening to our body and whatever we're doing in exposure with the sun. Melatonin, I'd rather have drug sleep than no sleep. That being said, I try to go as natural as I can. I like the 10 milligram. Some people find different brands work better for them. As long as I have 10 milligram, I've never found a brand that doesn't work. I'm grateful. And I try not to take it every night. What I do is I take one out and I have it sitting in the cap on my bedside table. If I get up in the middle of the night and go back to bed after you know going to the bathroom and I can't sleep, I will take this. I try to not take it, and most times I can fall back to sleep, but like I said, I'd rather have drug sleep than no sleep. And this grass-fed beef liver, I do not like the taste of liver. I know some of you do those frozen liver pills where you cut it up and freeze it. I just, even the thought of, or the taste of it dissolving in my mouth before you swallow it. I really like these because then you don't have to taste it. When we were children, I had to cook up liver for our dogs. So the smell, in my mind, is associated with dog food. So I love getting liver. It's one of the healthiest things that you can take. But with this, you don't have to taste it. This is Norwegian cod liver oil. There's another one that is the popular brand. I'll put it up here. It had soy in it, which really got me upset. I'm like, you seek out a really good product and they have a good name. Some of their stuff doesn't have soy, but this one did and it got me mad. So I ended up switching to this one. I really like it. There's no soy, there's no any of the bad stuff. And this helps your heart, your brain. If you have arthritis, it really helps support good bone health as well as your immune system. And then finally, turmeric. I get a free gift. I'm hoping it's a free one of these. Um, the other brand that I used to recommend, it was really good, but they kept raising the price. This has uh, cucumin, which is the bioparin black pepper, and you need that in order to absorb turmeric properly. All my girlfriends from India laugh at me that I have to buy turmeric. That would be like us buying air. You know, it's like we just have it. It, for them, turmeric is something that is in all of their food. They put it in their breakfast, their lunch, their dinner. I have gotten off of eating like that, and so I take this, which is wonderful. This dial, cherry blossoms, I thought it was going to have kind of an almond scent, the way that they are on the airlines. Did not care for it. I really love the Suave grapefruit. And Lori gave me the tip of using my ivory soap, my dish soap, in your soap dispenser, which I love the smell of that. I love the feel of it. I like everything. So I may try that. I have a few hand soaps to get through, but once I do, I might try the ivory soap. I have two Jergens. Do not like the daily moisturizer. It doesn't give me enough color and it kind of goes orange. What I do like is my three day to tan. This is my favorite. I mix this with my hemp. I really love my hemp lotion by itself in the winter. In the summer, you can mix it in with whatever soft tanner you use, and it helps to disperse it better. It's sort of like putting it with a moisturizer, but a moisturizer would dilute it. The hemp at least still has some color. It helps it so you don't get streakies or splotches. And for me, the medium to tan, 
on the Jergens Three Day Glow. I also like the, I think there's one that's deep, if I'm not mistaken, with that one. Anything with this Three Day to Glow, that's my favorite. And I'm on the Amazon automatic subscribe and save because I love this. And then finally, my sure, like I said, it's over 100 here, pushing 120 at times in the valley. I would not want to be without this. Mark uses the unscented. I like the fresh and cool. I like any of the scented ones, but this sure definitely keeps us dry. I have a couple of hair products. About every two months, I am coloring my hair with Revlon Color Stick. Silk, sometimes 71, sometimes 74. I avoid anything with the name Ash in it. But light blonde, golden blonde, anything like that works for me. I have quite a lot of gray and it peeks through very, very quickly. I know people tell me I could use a higher priced uh, coloring and it would last longer. I just am scared to experiment. I know this one, I love this one. And what I use in between times and it allows me to not color for two months is this Fancy Full. I got this one when I told you about it in my favorites and it was a liquid. Some of you couldn't find it and said, what about the mousse? And I said, I don't know, I've never used it. Well then I ran out of this and I couldn't find it and I got the mousse, love it. I will not go back to this. This is very messy. The mousse, after you have put everything else into your hair, and it depends, it's up to you if you want it wet or dry. You can take the mousse and you can either just do streaks where you're putting the mousse just down in different colors that you want covered, or you can just kind of pat it on the top. You don't need to run it all the way through. It does wash out. So if you put too much in, wash it out. I wash my hair once to twice a week. It's more twice a week in the summer with the heat. And this is the mousse of the Fancy Full, and I'll link the one I use below. It's a perfect color, super easy. I don't like my hair without it. It looks healthier. Just, it's amazing how the color can make it look so much better. So I love that Fancy Full. So for skincare, I have been making a concerted effort to use up my face cleansers. This is a Neutrogena oil-free in grapefruit. I like it. The Walmart Equate version is just as nice. I usually have one beside my sink that is a face cleanser that is more mild for the morning, like the Trader Joe's unscented one. I usually have one that I use in the evening to help get off all my makeup after I've done my oils and different things to break down the makeup. And I usually have one in the shower. So that's why I don't go through them that much. But this was nice. If you wanted to buy it, I would recommend the Equate uh, version of the same thing. I like the pink grapefruit. I like it well enough. I am experimenting with some other ones that are the CeraVe and another one besides that that are the Equate brand. And they're very, very nice. I don't know if I would just stick with one or how I feel, but as I work my way through them, I'll definitely, hopefully form more of an opinion on things. This Bimat, it is like the Careprost. It's from the pharmacy in India. It is much cheaper than any other pharmacy and it's Johnson & Johnson for my retinol. It is amazing. Now this is meant for the eyelashes. I have been using it lately just a little bit on my brows and I notice quite a response from them. I don't do my lashes because I end up putting on my false lashes and it's just, I don't want to be bothered with it. So it works really well on my brows. If I get my brows microbladed, I might stop using all kinds of products like this. We'll see. Speaking of my eyelashes, this is my K19s. I cut them in half on the outer lash and then a different one, I think two 16s in the middle. These are really hard to find and I'm looking for another one off of eBay that is similar. So I'll let you know if I do an eyelash video what I have been able to find. And before we jump into the makeup, my perfumes, I, on Facebook, they've been having Fragrance Friday, which I love. Thank you, Rachel, for driving that. And I've been using up my samples. I decided with all of these, I don't know who they were by, they were some kit that I bought. I did not like them. Life is too short. I have so many great perfumes I enjoy, so I'm letting those go. I did use up this, which is a Gucci perfume. It's worn off, so I don't know which one it was. 
and then I'm letting this one go. I know a lot of you love this one, but it just didn't work for me. It's the Burberry, but it's not the regular Burberry. I can't read it. If I am able to read it, I'll put what it is on the screen. But I just have so many perfumes that I really enjoy, so I'm letting go of all the samples. And then I used up uh, Atoll from Fragnard. I love this. I have a full-size sample or a full-size perfume of this. They are not cheap. They are, in my opinion, one of the best perfumes out there. I love all the Fragnard perfumes. Just heaven. And yes, I know I need to do a perfume video. On my Q2, quarter two, for those that aren't makeup analysts, <laughs> makeup use up, I let go of some of the products. This is my NYX Blush in Peach, which is very misnamed. It's pink. It is just hardening up. It's not giving as good color payoff. I'm hitting pan. My brushes, you know, don't appreciate it. So I'm going to let that go. The Wet n Wild eyeshadow in Creme Brulee. I love and miss this. I do it on my, underneath my brow and just blend in my eyeshadow look a little better. Really, really nice to have this handy because some palettes, believe it or not, don't have the cream or I've used the cream up in them. So I do miss that, but I'm not going to repurchase as long as I've got other things. And then what my friend Kathy's Beauty Care Chats told me to do is just use your regular powder for that. And that's the other thing that I will do. So as much as I love this, I don't think I'll be repurchasing. Even though it's cheap, it's just another product that I don't need. I'm trying to focus on the ones that I do like. I did love this and I'm letting it go because it's cracking, I don't want it to break, and I have other powders. It's the Maybelline Superstay Full Coverage Powder Foundation and it's really nice. It does give some serious coverage. Maybe a little, depending on how you apply it, if you use a sponge, it can be borderline cakey. If you use a brush, it's just really nice, but it's pretty solid coverage. I can see why it's called a foundation. Don't know that I would repurchase, even though I did enjoy it. I like my colors, uh, Cody, and I like my Rimmel powder. Those are just both greatness. And I'm actually, it, since I've used this up, now I'm going and using up a Rimmel that I have, which I'll be so sad when that's gone, but then I can use up a lot of my powders. This is a milk pencil. As you can see, I've used all of it. I love it. I put it on my lid uh, before you put on another color on your inner eye. It just really helps to brighten up the look and accentuate anything from if you've gotten messy and you know, to help clean it up and then you can have your eyeshadow pop. And then finally my Lorac Pro. Even bringing this out, it makes me torn if I want to let it go. It's like, it's so beautiful. I'm not into the shimmers as much and this gold I really didn't like. But these were beautiful colors, and I've enjoyed every minute of them. I've gotten my money's worth out of them, and I am ready to let it go, and I'm letting myself use whatever palettes I want, and what's really funny is I'm really gravitating to some palettes all the time. I love my Anastasia, I love my Alter Ego, and then for some colors, I like some of my color pops, but if I had to narrow it down, I'm realizing Anastasia and the Alter Ego are really nice palettes. I enjoy how they blend, I enjoy the colors, the stories. Maybe I'm getting better at buying the color stories that I like, but anyhow, that is everything that I had. I hope you picked up a tip or two, and thank you so much for hanging out with me. I really appreciate it, and I hope you're having an amazing week. We'll talk to you next time.